There's so much to learn beyond just the mixing skills that we have already probably shown you at this point. Uh, there, it takes a lot more to become a pro DJ. It takes understanding creating a business, um, understanding your own branding, and for that reason, we've created another course called Business and Branding. This is great for pro DJs, this is great for aspiring pro DJs, and this might be good for an amateur DJ that's out there that doesn't quite know if I wanna go pro or not, or I'm just curious about what some of these other lessons are all about. So inside of this business and branding class, we're covering so much material. We're covering contracts, um, creating your own logo, um, working with designers for logo and also overall brand design, uh, social media marketing, uh, what else do we have? We have so much stuff, negotiation. Um, but one of the uh, first modules in that course is building your own website. And I want to be able to give this module to you right now so you can get a taste of what's to come in that particular course. Now, in this lesson right now, we are going to be using a website called Banzoogle. Now, Banzoogle is, a, uh, is similar to WordPress or like a Squarespace but it's specifically designed for musicians, particularly bands, but also DJs and producers. And it, their pricing is super affordable and it's really easy to use. I know the name sounds a little bit silly, but the service is amazing. In fact, my own website, my own personal website is built on Banzoogle and I love it. Um, they also have an amazing help desk as well. Um, so I want to give you this lesson. I want you to check this out. Um, and I want you to go ahead and maybe start laying the foundation for a website. Uh, there are so many reasons and benefits to having your own website, having the ability to host your own content on your own site. You own that, nobody else owns that, and you can do whatever you want with it. So check out this lesson, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome into today's lesson. What I wanna cover today is building your own website. Now. I know some of you out there may already have your own website or maybe you've had somebody design a website, maybe it's outdated. Um, I wanna talk through how to build a website. I wanna also show you how to build a website and we're gonna do it in less than 15 minutes. So <laughs> we're putting 15 minutes on the clock here. This is live, real time, no cutting, no editing. We're going straight in. All right, so here we are. Um, couple things, why do you need to have your own website? I want you to think about your website as if it were real estate, right? It's helpful to own your own plot of land and you can do whatever you want on that land. So if you are using, let's say your Facebook fan page as your website, and that's where you're directing people to, well, you're not able to do a lot of things with that traffic, right? For, you're sending it to Facebook. And then beyond that, let's say for whatever reason, I mean, imagine a world in which Facebook doesn't exist anymore, which is possible at some point in time. I mean, I had a MySpace page back in the day and that essentially served as kind of like my website. I was getting inquiries through it and now where's MySpace? Nowhere to be found, right? So I want you to have control of your own content and you can then do whatever you want. You can paint the colors, whatever you want. You can do all of that. Now, you could also hire somebody to create your website which is definitely doable and there's some pretty low cost options that are out there. But again, this whole video is really meant to be DIY so that you can be in control of that. Um, just for some personal experience, I have had plenty of websites built for me and then got stuck into a situation where then anytime I needed an update, I had to go to that designer to update things. Like I've got a new gig coming up. They need, I needed to go to the designer so that they could put the, the information up there. And then in terms of changing the design, changing the layout, it was a lot more time and a lot more money. And nowadays we have some great resources to be able to use. So I wanna highlight a couple of different resources and then we're gonna jump in and use this one website builder that I really like, especially for musicians and DJs. So there's a couple of options. Maybe you've heard of some of these companies before. Squarespace.com is, is a great resource to build a website. Um, Wix.com, another great one. And there's dozens, hundreds even, of, of services that are out there that you can use to build your website. However, there's one that I really like, which is what we're gonna focus on today. It's called Banzoogle. I know, the name is kind of crazy. It's like Band and Google with a Z instead of a G. And it's called Banzoogle, and what's great about it 
is it was built specifically for musicians, for bands, for DJs. So a lot of the features that are in here are very specific and useful for people like yourself. So let's jump in. I've gone to bandsgoogle.com. You'll see it here. I've gone ahead and pulled up um, their pricing information. So you can take a look at this later. Um, I hope that you would trust me in saying that the reason why I'm directing you to this site is also because it's not super expensive. So even with the light version at $8.29 a month um, or $10 a month if you do it month by month, um, you get a lot here. You get Their support is amazing, first of all. So anytime I've needed help, I've just been able to go online during uh, business hours and be able to just get into the chat and ask them. You also get a free domain name. So, you know, uh, djhoppa.com, you can grab that. Ooh, you can't grab that because I already own it. And that's another thing actually is owning your own domain is really helpful so that you have that for your DJ name or whatever your artist name is. Um, also premium hosting, unlimited bandwidth. This one was a big one for me because I started to host my... Uh, my podcast on here for a while and having unlimited bandwidth was was awesome and then their themes are mobile ready as well meaning when you look at your site on a phone it will pull up properly like everything will be laid out and then yes you'll see all the different benefits here and we can just start with the light so the other thing that I really like is that we can try it for free um, so you get a 30-day trial here let's just make a name DJ scratch and sniff i feel like that name might already exist uh i'm gonna put in my email all right uh, i need to create a password and english go create my site uh, let's not save it create my site so as this is happening you'll notice that we just jumped right in uh, let's go choose a theme. So that's number one. We've got to select a theme here. So I'm just going to pick, I don't know, let's, uh, you can, and you can see over here, they've got different themes by genre. So just for the sake of doing it, let's be an EDM DJ producer and let's pick, uh, you can see there's many different themes. Let's go with something. Sure. Dark beats apply this theme. All right, so now as we're applying this theme, you can see that we've already got, this is DJ Scratch and Sniff. Let's continue with this theme. And we've got some different pages that are laid out based on this theme. Um, you can also see that we can replace this image or we can leave it. So we can set the title or logo, which I think that that's fine. Uh, but if you wanted to, we could change this up. So here we go. On my left hand side, the title of the site is DJ Scratch and Sniff. It's centered on the title. We can change the font. So let's maybe change the font to, I don't know, let's, uh, sure. Font style. Let's keep it medium. Font size. Make it slightly bigger. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like. There it is, DJ Scratch and Sniff. Um, all right, so add content. So let's start with a, um, let's do a one-page site. So the difference between the one-page site and the multi-page multi site is that we will have different um, tabs that you can click on uh, to go to the different pages. Actually, let's do a multi-page site. Uh, start with a blank site. Great, so here we go. So now while this is loading up, you can obviously you know, read different pieces here, but as this is loading up and we're good here, I wanna switch over to my whiteboard real fast because I wanna tell you like, what are the things that we need to have in a site, in a DJ site, right? It's a little bit different. If you were building a website that you were selling hats on, it would be different than the type of website that you would want as a DJ or as somebody that has this talent, you're an artist, so you, there's different things that you would need. I wouldn't necessarily need a store, right? The things that I do need are these five things here. So you need a bio. You need three high res photos, I would say at the minimum. And when I say high res, I mean high quality files. Um, now, 
Nowadays, the phones are actually pretty good. Taking a shot on the iPhone can actually be a decent shot. But when I'm saying also a high-res photo, it shouldn't just be three selfie shots that you're taking and then throwing up on your website. Uh, unless maybe that's the style of what you're going for, right? But I would say that I would consider hiring a professional photographer, grabbing a couple of shots of you, um, because this is gonna go on your website. Right? This is what people are going to see when they come to your site. So you want to make sure that your photos are quality enough and that they're not grainy. Um, the other things that you'll need, two musical samples, at least two musical samples. People are going to your website to figure out who you are. And in that, they want to be able to hear what is it, what you sound like. And if, unless you have some samples there, you don't want to direct them to like, here, go to Mixcloud to listen to me. Or here, go to SoundCloud to listen to me. Have those musical examples in your actual site so you can build in a player and do it that way. Um, the other things that you need to have here, links to your social media. Now, there's also the way, a way here to embed your social media feed into your website. So instead of just having a link that's going to then direct these people to your Instagram and now they leave your website, you can actually bring in your Instagram into your website and have your latest photos from Instagram now show on your website, which is a great option. Um, it really cuts down the amount of work that you need to do to keep your website fresh and updated. Let's say you update your Instagram multiple times a week, but you probably aren't updating your website multiple times a week, right? So this is a great way of continuing to put content up on your site um, by integrating social media into that. Uh, you can also do it with your Twitter feed if you're on Twitter um, or any other social media platform can pretty much be embedded into this. Same thing actually really quick to jump back up to music samples. If you did have your mix up on Mixcloud or up on SoundCloud, you've got a remix that you did, you can also embed that SoundCloud player or that Mixcloud player and put it into your own site. So again, not directing the traffic outside of your site, but bringing people and keeping them on your web page. Um, now, why would you want to do that? Well, for one, if you made a mix, let's say on, um, I don't know, maybe you made a, a mix around uh, best holiday music, or this is a, a holiday mix that you put together. Well, as people are searching on Mixcloud um, or on SoundCloud, there's going to be then other mixes that come up. And let's say your mix had been listened to a hundred times and somebody else's mix that's right underneath it that is best holiday mix also has like 10,000 plays on it. Now you are putting yourself in a position in which the person who's on your site is kind of looking at this like, hmm, maybe, maybe this isn't such a great DJ. Huh, maybe I should actually try to contact this person who had a holiday mix that was at 10,000 plays. Maybe that's the better person that I should hire for my event, right? So you can control your, everything that's happening on your piece of land here, on your website. Um, and then the last thing that you need to have is you need to have some way to get in touch with you. So you need to have um, a form that can live on your site or you, have, like, you list your email address or both. Um, some people like to list a phone number as well. Um, I personally like to just have an email or a form because I want to be able to weed out uh, people. I don't want to just have my cell phone number um, plastered over my, my website and start getting crazy calls. So um, these are the five things that you absolutely need to have. With some of these items, we have other videos in which we're going more in depth in terms of like writing a bio, finding photos, what are some good photos versus bad photos. Um, we're talking about mixes and musical examples even social media and help with social media strategy. We have that on um, other videos that we have here at thedjcoach.com. So let's just jump right back in because I've only now got, I've got less than three minutes to show you around here. So <laughs> that 15 minutes flew by. Um, all right, so I've got this and I can just start to bring in images. So let's say I edit this image and I want to upload a new image. Um, I can do that. Let's just replace this. I'm going to upload an image. So I think one of the things that I would say is first and foremost, now that I've given you these different items, would be to figure out what you already have. Um, and let's say I just take a 
an image and we'll use this. So figure out what images that you already have that you want to use and put them in a folder. That way when you get in here, you can just really start get go get going. You can really start to get to get going. I feel the pressure of the of the time. Who agreed to this time thing? I think that was my idea. Um, all right, so you can see that it's laid out. We don't really have anything here, but we need to add some pages. So let's go to edit the content. Let's add a feature. Um, let's add some text or we can add a blog. We can add buttons. You can add all sorts of things here. Um, and you can see all these different types of pages that you can already have. Um, or what I could do is I could go and add a page here. And now I could call this. Do we want to start with a blank page? Um, yeah, sure. Let's start with a, let's start with a music page. Let's give you that music and we'll put it in the main page, create my page. And here we are, latest music. Now we can add tracks. So we can add this as an album. Best music ever. Um, we can add album art. Upload an image. And we can actually even allow for a download. Right, so this is a great resource. Again, like I was saying with Bandzoogle, these are resources for musicians um, specifically. So let's go ahead and do that and let's upload, say save, there we go. So this is what it would look like. It would have the player once we go ahead and upload the song to it, but you could see that there's where my music would be. And now I've got over here, I've got a page for music, All right? So um, I can keep going in and adding pages. I can add another page for my bio or I could call this about and Let's create my page and inside of this page, I can then add a feature. I can add a text. Uh, this is my bio. Right. And now you can have that listed out here. Now you can also change like the theme. You can change the colors. You can do all of that and that you would do on this tab right here, which is edit theme. So I could change the colors. I could change the fonts, the way that this lays out. But you can see that with a couple of clicks here, I can really start to get something up and moving. Now, if I wanted to go and see what this looks like, I could view the site. And this is what it looks like to people who are coming to my site. So here's home, music, about. You'll notice that some of those things, I need to probably change the color because it gets lost here. Um, but you can preview it. And then I can also preview it on mobile. So this is what it looks like on a mobile phone. And here's where my menu is. I've been told that we've run out of time, which is crazy because I feel like we just started. There's so much here that in fact, I actually want to do a part two. So let me stop there and I want to show you, I just wanted to show you how quick it was to be able to log in, create an account and start laying something out. And actually, uh, verse, come back wide for me real quick. Let me just let these people know. All right. so. I want to do a part two of this. If you're interested in learning more, I want you to watch the part two of what we're going to do. We're going to take this same theme and we're going to start to build this out a little bit more. I'm going to write more of a bio in. I'm going to incorporate a few more photos and take those five things that every DJ website, in my opinion, needs to have in it. And we're going to lay this out for DJ scratch and sniff. Who knows? This might be another side hustle of yours as a web designer after this. Uh, so if you're interested, watch this next video. We're going to go a little bit more in depth. Hey everybody, welcome back in. If you watched part one, we started by showing you how to create your own website and actually to be able to start with a free website, we're using a platform called bandzoogle.com, bandzoogle, almost like band Google, except for the G is a Z. I know. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting name, but the, the site is amazing. The platform is amazing. It's really easy to build your own site and it's specific to musicians. So bands, musicians, and DJs, they have tools that are built into the site that are unique to Bandzoogle and you won't find necessarily on Squarespace or on Wix. Also, many of the themes are also set up for musicians. It's literally like Wix for musicians. 
Um, anyways, we, I want to jump back in because we originally spent 15 minutes and that 15 minutes flew by. We got through a lot of what I wanted to cover, but I wanted to go one step further and I actually want to build out this site for DJ Scratch and Sniff. That was our, the name of the artist that we were building out around. So um, I've gone ahead and kind of put another 15 minutes on the clock to see if we can finish this out. Um, let's just jump back in. Let me first show you my whiteboard real fast because I want to show you what we're covering. So there are five things that are super important to an artist website, specifically a DJ website. One, a bio. Two, photos. Three, musical samples. Links to social media as our number four. And our number five is our contact info, some way to get in touch with us. Um, all right, so let's come back over to my Bandzoogle site. I'm using this theme right now. Um, that seems to kind of be changing up. It's like rotating through. So let me, I might change up the theme real quick. So let's just change up the theme. Let's use this as the EDM thing and let's go to shoot. Let's use, uh, I don't know why, I don't know why I'm being so picky, but uh, I should just pick one. The time is running. All right, let's play, pick this one. So there we go. That's me. That's DJ Scratch and Sniff. Continue with this theme. Sure. So I just also want to show you how easy it was to change up my theme. Like all of my pages stayed the same. My music page is the same. My about page also the same. So everything is there. This is great because at some point in time, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just get sick and tired of looking at the same thing. So I might want to just switch up my site. In fact, I change my theme on my site probably at least once or twice a year. Um, all right, so let's go back in. Let's go back to our home page. I want to show you now that we have this, um, once we are here in this edit theme area, we can change things. So we can change the images that are, are going. So if I want to, I can click on this. And this is where my image filter is. So I can put a lighter sort of filter on top of it. You can see all these different animate background on scroll. Let's leave that there. Uh, there we go. Text or a logo. So I can put a logo here. I can change my colors for the menu. My call to action header, which is this right here, join our mailing list. Um, I can change that up if I want to. Um, you can change up pretty much everything that's in here. And you can see all of these different ways to do that. Now, let's go to uh, your preview theme. Let's save this. So now that we saved it, it will lock this in. And while it's doing that, um, I do want to emphasize that the thing that I did here as well was I pulled together some sample photos. So I have some sample photos that are here that I can then use for my site. And this is really important. You want to make sure that you have enough content to put up there. Same with your musical samples. That way when you come over to make your site, you're not like trying to find where all your stuff is. Yes, publish my site. Um, okay, so my changes have been saved. We're good to go. Great, and I can see what this looks like on an iPad. And that's what it looks like on an iPad. This is what it looks like on a mobile phone. All right, so it'll show me how it lays out. Slightly different. So let's go to edit content. Let's change this image. Um, so use images on all pages. That's fine. And let's add an image to the slideshow. And we're going to go to my desktop sample photos. And let's add in this image. These are just some stock photos. Ah, it's too large. Okay. So that was too big for what I wanted to do. So I would have to resize it. That's going to take me a little bit longer. Let's see. How about this one? This one will work. And you can also see that you can integrate Dropbox. Uh, there's also stock photos that are here, which I can also use some stock photos. Right? So I can use maybe this as a stock photo, apply that image as well. Sure. And save. There we go. Right, so I can have these different images that happen as a slideshow. I can also use a video if I wanted to. 
And then in terms of the pages, right now we've got an about and we've got music. I can reorder these to put the about above the music. Let's go back into my music page. And originally what I did is I brought in uh, this music file. I was gonna like actually upload a song here. And inside of here, here's my album. And I can upload bonus files, right? I can allow for a download. Um, so here, let's just upload a file. Let's take a file off my website. I mean, off my desktop here. Um, great. And then you can also write a description. This is the best song in the world. I hope that you enjoy. Um, you can add in a UPC code if you have that. Um, let's see. Um, great. So we're good there. Now if we go back and look at, there we go. So you can see that it's, it's saying that that's what it is. And when I go here, um, we'll be able to see it. Actually, let me go back into my pages. So now let's make a new page and let's call this, uh, let's just do it blank. Let's say I wanted to do music online. Let's say I wanted to use this one instead of my, um, instead of the way that I uploaded this. So let's say I want to take something off of SoundCloud. So let's go to HTML code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a code. So I found a song here. Let's go ahead and share this. Let's embed it. Um, do we like that one? Or maybe like this. Maybe we want it like this. Uh, the color. Sure. And now I'm just going to copy this. So Command C. And then I'm going to come over here. Command V. Save. So now you can see that that pulled in. Now let's say I wanted to add something from Mixcloud. So I can add a feature. I'm going to use the HTML code again. And this time uh, I found this Fatboy Slim Lockdown mixtape. And let's go ahead and embed this, embed the player. Sure, let's use this one. Copied that. Come back over to my site. Paste it. Save. Great, so you can see that you could use SoundCloud or MixCloud. You can embed these into your site. Um, and maybe that's the way that you prefer to share your music. Now, you'll notice that we don't have a title on this, so we can create a title, add a feature, a title. Uh, example, uh, recent releases, something like that. All right, you can save that there. You can obviously also add in photos or anything. You can see when I just add a section, I can now add in as much as I want. So I can add in image and text. I could create a button. You know, really, you can really customize this thing out to make it whatever you want. Um, and let's say I don't want this anymore. Let's delete that. Great. So we're good to go now. Let's go back and let's view my site. So here we go. This is what it looks like when I go to this page, right? When I go to music online. Now, if I were to go back to my home page here, this is where it is. That's my menu up here. I've got an about. You'll notice that there's, and the about just goes to my bio. And then my music. There's that. And then there's also my music online, which lays out that way. Right, so that gives us a pretty good idea of how we could go about putting this together. I do want to do one more thing, and you'll notice that the slideshow is happening, right? That the photos are filtering through. Pretty good. Pretty good for just kind of throwing something together real quick. Um, obviously, there's some fonts that I would want to clean up and sort of make things a bit more consistent, but let's go back here. Let's make a contact page. So let's add a page, and let's say contact and let's do it in the main page create this page and we can add a feature let's add a can, 
add a uh, custom form contact me create a new form and we can say your name your email and your message cool we can also add a field um, what do we want to make this um, favorite color I don't know we really probably wouldn't do that but we can even make this multiple choice we can make this field required add your favorite color is red or blue or green update okay save so now when we go back to our site where is that let's refresh now we've got a contact form and here it is name email message favorite color right? like it's all in there and then submit so all I wanted to do was be able to show you how simple it was to be able to create a site um, using something like Banzoogle. Now, you don't have to use Banzoogle, but I find it to be really helpful for a couple of different reasons. One is it's really easy to lay out, which most of the um, website builders are pretty simple. But the other thing that I really like about this is, um, and just to go back to, uh, where was that? Oh, probably not there. Hold on, let's see. Let's go to banzoogle.com slash pricing, I think it is. Um, is that it's pretty affordable. You know, for 10 bucks a month, you're able to do all of this. So uh, this is just a great way to get started. Um, honestly, I can't emphasize this enough that I think it's important for you to have your own site. And actually, if we want, let's come back to Let's come back to me real quick first because I just want to end this by saying I want you to not feel so intimidated about creating your own site. There's so many tools that are out there. You do not have to be a web designer to be able to design your own site. You don't need to pay somebody necessarily to go and design your own site. There are tools available at your fingertips and hopefully this was a bit empowering to be able to show you um, what you can do with some of these tools. If you want, check out my site. I'll put a link to it right here. My site is hopperworld.com. My site was built off of this same platform and I continue to evolve the site. I, I edit everything myself. I update everything myself and I am not a web designer or a graphic designer by any means. But the ability to sort of play around with things and sort of play around these different modules and pages it's super empowering. It makes me feel like I actually know what I'm doing and that I'm doing something. And then there's something super gratifying too about making a change and then hitting refresh and then now seeing it displayed publicly. Like, wow, I created that. So I don't want this to be a reason why you don't have your own site and why you don't have your own landing page. And again, remember that you can control all of what you basically put out there to people that are visiting your site. There's a lot of room to grow here as well. Um, real quick, one of the last things I like about Banzoogle uh, and one of the main reasons why I switched over to Banzoogle was that they also have the ability for you to send out uh, mailers, so like a newsletter. So I try to send out a monthly newsletter to some of my folks about things that are going on in my world. I call it what's happening. Um, I know it's a pun and pretty, pretty corny. Um, <laughs> but. I send it out and it's a great way of just kind of keeping people updated that maybe aren't um, you know, as engaged in social media or might be missing some of the things that I'm posting up to social media. And this gives them an opportunity to see it laid out and I have their captured attention for that period in time. And again, that's the other thing about your own site is that people aren't looking at other things, right? They're not on a Facebook page where they're being notified of this or that or being invited to this or it's somebody's birthday and you're just being distracted whereas here on your site you've got a captive audience and you can choose what it is that you are showing them and that i think is a huge advantage to having your own site hopefully this was helpful i want to re-emphasize that some of these topics like being able to write your bio um, find great photos putting together mixes uh, social media strategy even communication skills. We've got separate videos for these things and I want you to be able to check those out as well where we go a little bit more in depth. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.